What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create a rendering for our fire station. So for me to be able to do that nicely, so I need to create a camera view for that. So that's why here's my angle. Okay, so here's the 3D view of my uh, exterior model. So I created this one using camera. So I already discussed that on how to create a camera so if I go to the ground floor if I want to see my camera here so you just need to right click the camera view and then you can select show camera so just to give you an idea this is where I put the camera and then here's the range of my camera so you can do this trick if you want to change the angle or the position of your camera and then if you click outside it will disappear okay so if ever you want to change your camera position all right so this is the camera view of my model so i'm going to create a rendering for this one and just a few tidy up i'm just gonna remove this uh rpcs i don't need these rpcs so ground floor so maybe this RPC, so I'm going to put there, I'm going to put one here. Okay, so going back to my camera view, this one. Right, now to open up the rendering dialog box, you can click this icon here. You see that one, show rendering dialog, or you can also type RR. There you go. Okay, so here's now my rendering dialog box. So there's the render and then you can also select part of the view that you would like to render because there are some instances wherein you only want to see the render of the one area, one particular area and you do not want to render the whole thing because rendering really takes a lot of time and in order for you to maximize the rendering output so you need to have a, a powerful computer, okay? So that's why, as you can see here, the settings that I have selected here is only a draft. Because if you really want to make it a very nice rendering, so you can select here the best or you can even custom uh, edit it if you want. But I'm not going to do that. I just want to have a draft view. I'm not going to do this for presentation. I just want to see how it looks like after I apply the material and colors to my model. Okay. Remember, you can click the region here. You can click that and then you can see this box here. You can click that box. And then if you want, you can resize that if you want to render certain part of your uh, building so that it will not render the whole view. But for this one, I'm just going to uncheck the region here. Now, the next thing that you can specify is the output settings. You can select the resolution here for a printer or a screen. Screen is the default one. You can specify also printer here. Okay, you can specify the DPI. Of course, the higher the DPI, the longer the rendering it will take. But the, the, the rendering output will going to be more... Uh, nicer than a lower DPI but for this one I'll just use a screen here this one the screen and for the lighting you have several options here so you have exterior sun only exterior sun and artificial if you have other lightings applied or placed in your model it will gonna be included to the rendering if you select sun and artificial and you can also select artificial only for interior rendering, you can use uh, sun only, sun and artificial, and artificial only for interior. Of course, you need to create a camera view inside your building if you want to do some interior rendering. Now, for this one, I'm just going to use exterior sun only. And then for the sun setting, I'm going to click this uh, ellipsis button to show the sun settings here. Now for this one, I will be using um, still solar study, still settings, and then I'll be using sun and shadow settings. And for the location, I'm going to click this option button. 
I can use the internet mapping service or you can click the drop down and then you can just select uh, default city list so you can select your city of your choice or you can check the internet you can select that and then you can type here so let's say for example I'm located in Auckland New Zealand so I'm just gonna search that there you go so I just click that one and then uh, you can also check here uh, daylight savings time if you want so you can check that and then you can select your OK <clears throat> all right now for the ground plane at level so I'm gonna click this one and I'll just put it on the ground floor and then that's it I'll just select your apply oh by the way for the time here okay so today is 2022 and it's June 17 so let's say for the time I would like that to be around 12 30 p.m. and then that's it I'll just select here okay then you can specify here the background you can specify the sky with no clouds very few clouds few clouds cloudy very cloudy color background image background or transparent okay for this one I'll just use a uh, few clouds and then later on you can still adjust the exposure of your rendering once you're done so let's start render so let's click that remember I just use your draft to quickly render my model so I select render and let's wait so as you can see even if I selected draft it takes some few seconds to start the rendering how much more if you're going to make it best but again the output will gonna be awesome if you're going to use the best one so this is now how it looks like and you can adjust the exposure here so you're not happy with the output you can select adjust exposure let's say I'm gonna use here uh, saturation so I just select apply and maybe a little brighter exposure value just little okay and a little warmer a little intense and maybe highlights brighter it's up to you you can even export this into a uh, JPEG file and then you can modify this in uh, Photoshop okay so let's say for example you are done you're happy with the output so just select your OK and then you have an option here you want to save that into the project so you can save that to the project it will be added here on the project browser so save to project so let's say for example this is my exterior rendering so it's now here and you can also export that as a JPEG file, bitmap files, uh, PNG or TIFF file. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, so once you save it, of course you need to save it to the folder uh, of your choice and then after that just save it. Okay, now for in my case I'm not gonna save it. Okay, so you can also use this option here, show the model. So that's the model and then you can click that again to show the rendering okay all right so once you're done you can now close that one and maybe you can create a sheets here so let's create a new sheet and let's use an a0 okay and then I'm gonna insert here the ground floor insert the ground floor so maybe this side here and I would like to include also let me just change my background here it's too dark options graphics background white okay okay all right so that's my floor plan and I want to include the rendering so renderings drag and drop let's put it somewhere here so for the floor plan I'm gonna double click inside this viewport and then 
I do not want to show those uh, elevation. Hide in view category. There you go. Right click, deactivate the view. So there's my exterior rendering. I can still resize this. Just double click that to go inside the viewport and then you can resize it. Something like that. So right click again, deactivate view and let's move this one. Okay, and let's include the section tool. And I also want to include the call out of section two. There you go. Okay. So that's how you create your rendering. So that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.